going to show you over the robot, the, the club robot at the Dallas Personal Robotics Group. His name is Tankbot. He's uh, shortly to be uh, passed on to a new owner. So I'm going to tell you the things that, uh, that he can do now, point out some of his major components, and demonstrate him doing the best that he can. Up front, we have two motors, one for each track, and behind the motors, the drive electronics that powers them. Above that, a forward-looking sonar for obstacle detection and another sonar mounted on a servo. A tiny Cylon with the flashing LEDs, microcontroller for driving the motors behind that, and an Arduino with sensor electronics, an ITX PC motherboard with running Puppy Linux, and a monitor behind that. My uh, fellow club member Ed Paradis uh, started Tankbot and uh, built it from what used to be a toy tank into something that is now quite a respectable robot. Um, he handed it off to me about a year ago and I took it, added a whole bunch of components to it and uh, enhanced his software which was still, uh, still very much the foundation of the robot. And uh, got it to compete successfully in some of our robotics contests here in the club. So some of the first things we did was take apart all the technical pieces and paint it from its normal camo color to kind of a metallic uh, sports car red because we wanted to kind of take a bold uh, color statement. Um, Steve and I spent uh, months and months painting it uh, with primer and then multiple coats and then a gloss coat and it's, uh, it's Probably the uh, probably a lot of time was spent on that, and we also uh, uh, upgraded the uh, drive system from the original uh, simple motors to some uh, gear motors with uh, encoders on it. Steve was. Uh, we also uh, put on some motor controllers from New Micros that were donated, and uh, started with some sonar units so that we could tell the distance. And uh, probably the first thing the robot could do successfully on its own was a, uh, a wall avoidance uh, program that ran on an ML that I wrote that ran, a, uh, that ran its logic off of a uh, little laptop stuck on the back of right curl. And that won best of show in one of our uh, earlier competitions so that the uh, TakeBot's got a, a uh, glory, glorious history of, uh, of, of winning competitions. TankBot uh, uses an Atmel microcontroller to run the motors and the encoders uh, and Ed wrote all the software for that, it hasn't been changed since um, and uh, it, then that, that's, that receives higher level commands from the software running on the uh, running Linux on the, embedded, on the embedded PC board. TankBot also has a uh, Arduino board on it that that uh, runs the sensors and uh, feeds the sensors back to the again to the Linux board, running the higher level software. We mounted a an electronic compass on Tankbot uh, on top of pylon to keep it away from the metal components and motors, other things that change the magnetic field. And the uh, the compass runs back to the to the Arduino board that regularly reads the reads the compass. And uh, feeds it, feeds its data back to the program running on the Linux I ITX board. We used to have Wi-Fi on the robot with a an entire wireless router just stuck on the back as an access point that we connected to using Ethernet from the embedded computer. And then we 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 done some other wireless experiments with it. Yeah, J Jason Oliver donated. A, uh, a Wi-Fi dongle that happily Puppy Linux recognized, and uh, so now uh, Tankbot connects to whatever Wi-Fi network it finds itself in, and we just uh, can log right into right into Tankbot using BNC desktop ta desktop takeover and run the programs right on the robot. Tankbot's about to do its last. Successful maneuver in the in the Robo Rama competition.
pull it to square dance. It uh, runs in a square around some cones. It uses the electronic compass mounted on top of the pylon for navigation around the cones. The compass is read by the Arduino microcontroller, which is uh, feeds it back to software running on the uh, Linux system on the embedded PC. It also uses uh, uses distance data to get back off of the tracks um, from the motor encoders to figure out how far it's gone before it should turn. TechBot's equipped with a USB webcam, uh, which we just need some software installed to make it work. TechBot has sonar sensors front and back and a steerable sonar. Front sensor, rear sensor, and this sensor is mounted on a servo, which we can sweep around so the tank bot can look ultrasonically for obstacles that are uh, might be in front of and to either side of it. It also uh, has one of Dale Wheat's famous tiny Cylons to ward off bugs and, uh, and enemies. One last thing that we put on TankBot was a monitor, kindly donated by Dale Wheat, uh, which provides, shows the desktop for Puppy Linux. It gives you a rough idea of what's going on and you can tell whether, whether it's booted, but really desktop takeover is the right way to use it. However, in a pinch, you can plug a mouse and keyboard into the PC board and use the monitor to, uh, to reboot, the, reboot Linux if it crashes. Okay, we're going to make it go around in a square now. Tankbot is steering using his compass and you can actually see him turn a little bit left and right as the, as the uh, tracks drift off of, off of uh, center. And then you can see him turn by running one track forwards, one track backwards based on, and then he turns until the compass reading indicates he's going in the new direction.